designing, casting, and finishing jewelry. A brief overview of the numerous steps required to manufacture a Rembrandt charm. Charms are designed in the model area, where artisans sculpt metal models using actual items, sketches, and pictures. A rubber mold is taken from the original handmade model. Layers of rubber are solidified around the model by applying extreme heat and pressure until the rubber becomes solid or vulcanized. The master model is removed with expert precision using a surgical knife. The rubber mold is prepared. Molten wax is injected into the rubber mold. When the wax hardens, an exact wax reproduction of the original model is carefully removed from the mold. Each wax is thoroughly inspected, cleaned, and adjusted to perfection. The wax replicas are attached to a base, creating a wax tree. The craftsman ensures that none of the waxes touch each other. The wax tree is then placed in a metal cylinder called a flask. A smooth mixture of plaster called investment is carefully poured into the flask, covering the wax patterns. Air is removed using a vacuum system. The flask is heated in a kiln. The wax evaporates, leaving no trace other than a perfect cavity in the hardened plaster, representing the original master model. Gold and silver casting grain are poured into a graphite crucible. The precious metal is heated until it becomes a liquid. At the precise instant that the gold or silver meets the correct temperature, the liquid metal is injected into the cavities. When the gold or silver cools to a solid state, the plaster is washed away, exposing the raw castings. The castings are cut from the tree. The charm castings are sent to the jeweler's bench, where skilled craftsmen perfect each piece by hand. Some charms require multiple parts, which must be meticulously hand-soldered. A variety of intricate bracelets are assembled here at the jeweler's bench. The charms are then sent to the polishing department for the preliminary polishing stages. The polishing compounds are removed by an ultrasonic cleaning process. Jump rings are attached to each charm.
the charms are returned to the polishing department for the final polishing process to produce a brilliant finish. The charms are steam cleaned and dried. All charms are inspected for quality. In order to protect the fine finish and prevent tarnishing, sterling silver charms are rhodium plated or gold plated. Final inspection by the quality control department is completed before packaging. Rembrandt charms, providing your customers thousands of handcrafted precious memories in silver and gold.